Welcome to episode number 36 of Chucky's Playground News. I am your host, Metal Matt, as always. And uh, we're going to be for a very special episode. So let's go ahead and get things started. First of all, let's get some shouts out of the way. Spanky and G are awesome admins. Awesome people as well. Uh, Chucky115, awesome. Great guy as well. Undead Punk, um, Maggot, Mega WWE fan as well. Awesome guy. Uh, Tiffany Valentine, great graphics designer. Uh, Dragon Prime, really cool dude. A Computer, really cool dude. Dragon D4, really cool dude. Uh, All My Down Baller, really cool dude. Simon Gray, really cool dude. Which, really cool person. Mega, Mega Man, really cool person. And Sweetface, awesome person as well. So. You know, all those guys and gals are really awesome as well. So definitely, they're just definitely awesome to hang out with, you know, on a daily basis. And it's just awesome to kind of hang out and talk with them about all kinds of stuff. And what you listen to right now, they're still pumping out great posts. Um, Right now, I'm actually listening to a lot of Megadeth, honestly. And, like, I really don't know why. I mean, (laughs) you know, like, sometimes I would just go... get fixated on a certain band, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes I'll be listening to Marilyn Manson on a regular basis, other times, you know, Metallica, you know, Kiss, stuff like that, you know. I I love them all, but, like, you know, sometimes I just get fixated on listening to a a band a lot at at, uh, one time. And um, and it might be because Megadeth just announced a new lineup. So I'm kind of listening to that in um, in excitement for their upcoming album, which is probably going to be next this year or next year. Um, I really wish they would have gotten the Rust in Peace lineup back together, but oh well. Hopefully this lineup will still be good. But yeah, I've been listening to Megadeth a lot and uh, other other bands as well, but ma- mainly Megadeth as of late. And currently playing right now. Really cool things that a lot of people are playing right now. Right now, I'm playing um, Bully, uh, the scholarship edition, which is really cool. It's from the makers of GTA. So it, it does sort of have that same GTA game engine, but it's like school based, so it's really interesting. And I'm also playing in. Uh, I've actually been playing Grand Theft Auto V, actually, speaking of GTA, like a lot lately, and I really don't know why, but. And I, I'm about. I just finished Family Guy: Back to the Multiverse. Uh, that was fun, but it could get a little annoying at times. And I'm going to start on Batman: Arkham Origins, um, either today or tomorrow. So that's basically what I've been playing. And what are you watching right now? Right now, I'm not really watching anything. Like um, like either today or tomorrow, I might watch a uh, Big Hero Six and Drive with Ryan Gosling and stuff like that. So, that's pretty much what I've been up to. Uh, in terms of watching movies, TV, and stuff like that. And Movie Mayhem, as always, Movie Mayhem is great as well. They just did a, they, they just did a podcast on Fargo, which is a Coen Brothers movie. And um, I heard it was really good. And uh, the Minnesota accents that they did, you know, in the review was awesome and hilarious as well. So, definitely check it out. It's really enjoyable and very good and the ddp comics read the curse now this is a really interesting part of it because uh it seems like uh there's these um comics that were out you know and from what i hear it they're really good and uh apparently this might be the hack slash hack slash slash versus chucky comics and uh, they seem to pick up after the events of Seed. And they end up... He ends up meeting with a more than prepared Jesse and Jade. So that's pretty interesting. Interesting. And um, definitely pretty interesting. You know, I've, I've always heard about these comics, but I've never actually read them. But hopefully in the future I'll be able to either get my hands on them or somehow... Uh, somehow I'll read all, more about them. But they're very interesting parts of the Chucky um, fan base, you know. And Chucky's strength. Someone uh, raised the question, how much strength does Chucky have? And is he a bit stronger than he is in human form? Uh, I don't really think he's stronger at all. Honestly, he might. I think he has, like, the same strength they had um, when he was a human. And Chucky Replica. 
you know, we've been talking about Chucky replicas, you know, and a lot of people really want a replica of the CP1 doll. You know, I, that's what a lot of people want, and um, for various reasons, it might happen, but it may not also happen for those very same reasons. Either way, it's very fun to talk about, you know, you know what if if people were were, were willing, willing to pay, you know, that much money, or if they would really want one, and the idea of it all—it's just really interesting to talk about. CP1 slash Blood Buddy. We were talking about the differences between CP1 and an earlier draft of the screenplay for the first movie, which was called Blood Buddy, and it's just really interesting. Like, Blood Buddy differs very much from the first one. Like, uh, the good guy dolls were had, like, latex skin or something like that, and uh, they could tear, and you could buy, like, good guy band aids and stuff like that. And, like, uh, Andy and the doll, like, made, like, a blood pact. I think they, like, mixed their blood together or something like that. And uh, the doll, who I think is called Buddy in this one, he, like, comes alive while Andy's sleeping and takes out, you know, Andy's enemies while he's sleeping. And that's a really interesting story. So that's very interesting to talk about. And finally, What Are You Doing Right Now has um, reached 500 pages. Like, that is the longest running thread that we have on there. Just really, really amazing, you know, great thread to talk to. And uh, talk about one is really awesome. And we're also reaching the site's uh, one-year anniversary sometime next week, I believe. Sometime this week or next week. I think I think it's this week. So, uh, yeah, some big days coming ahead for the Chucky's Playground. F- reaching 500 pages. On the What Are You Doing Right Now thread. And the site's one year anniversary coming up sometime this week. Man, that's so beautiful. Kind of kind of makes me want to cry. <laughs> but um, anyway, that's all for Chuggy's Program News. And I'll see you all next time.